day five and I am in Jaffna. Let's see how it goes. And it's eight. Oh, no, it's not eight. It's, it's 7.50 in the morning. Let's go. So quick update, I'm going to Point Pedro first and then only I'm going to cover the rest and I'm shocked that Point Pedro is apparently 33 kilometers from Jaffna town. <laughs> I thought it was something close to the town but I'm pretty shocked uh, and with my timings like, things are going out of my hand. I need to cover 30 destinations, man. Now, uh, there's a lot more to cover. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Let's do this. Point Pedro and that's the northernmost part of Sri Lanka welcome guys come witness the northernmost part of Sri Lanka with me so as this Google baby says I have arrived to Sakote Point Pedro and as you see in the map okay okay done done I'm done baby as you see this is the the most part of Sri Lanka it is that moment that I am getting to the top most part of Sri Lanka yes Oh, and it's a beautiful message. It says, unity in diversity is the strength of Sri Lanka. That's right. And Sakote Cape, the northernmost notch in Point Pedro, Sri Lanka. Oh, yes. It's a dream come true, man. It's a dream come true. And now, it's now, please, it's all the way in Point Pedro. It's how, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you all, guys? He's very happy. I. Would you be exactly. Do I mean I'm so excited to be here. So tell me what's going on, buddy. So I just reached Point Pedro like five minutes back, and I was uh, feeling a little bit of emotion because uh, I really wanted to come to this point from a very long time to tell that I have been to the northernmost point of this beautiful island and here I am finally <laughs> guys uh, and when I'm at such a point like this in a very special place I really want to tell you that Sri Lanka is one of the best the best country in the world like for me, I've, I've, I've traveled to like about four or five countries and uh, I cannot just judge everything with that. But of course, I've heard so much about things and I, I'm like, I live in YouTube, man. I basically like check out all these contents around the world and I don't know. I have a very emotional attachment to this country. Because I was born in this soil, in this beautiful island with so much of things to offer. Either it's things to see like maybe the attractions or maybe it's the culture maybe it's the people like whatever you name it of course like maybe it could be the food like we've got so much man this is an absolutely incredibly beautiful awesome 
insanely crazy island man so this is solo sri lanka and i'm on a mission to cover 30 destinations within 30 days in sri lanka to i'm proud to be a sri lankan man i'm proud to be a sri lankan and guys this logo wandering mr solo sri lanka is the official t-shirt with the hashtag solo sri lanka change sri lanka so if you are watching this right now and if you have instagram and if you really like my videos so far do remember to post something in instagram and hashtag this so that i'll uh, you know i'll get a note of it and i'll be so glad to see you guys you know supporting me out of this so i really appreciate such a gesture and that's about it yeah yeah so this map is the map of jaffna and as you see sakote point pedro is the northernmost part of sri lanka This is some random spot from uh, this is in between Hirimalaya and uh, Point Pedro. Guys, I'm finding it so hard to go to Hirimalaya. I'm losing so much of time, and uh, the route that the Google Maps showed me it is it's not correct. It's not correct. I don't know. It was a little bit scary, I don't know, like, I don't get uh, afraid like this, but to see such places, like, I didn't even stop at certain places because there were, like, army camps, and see, these are abandoned houses or buildings, so these were the effects of the war, man, and I wish we do not face anything like that hereafter, and I'm a person who loves unity. Like all what I request or want people to be is just stay united. It's beautiful to stay united. Why do things like this happen in this world? Why do we have to fight? Why do we really need to fight when we can be united? And when I say just united, it doesn't have to be just with words. Like you have to show that you are united. And I don't just talk like I move along with everyone. Either it's Buddhist, I'm a Muslim, but I move along with either Buddhist, Hindu, a burger, Christian, whatever it is. Like the way how this place is, it's insane. I feel so sorry for the people who had to face it back then. I don't want to talk anymore. So tough, I'm having a very hard time finding the roads and I'm lost man! Okay guys, we are in Kirimalai Pond. This is one of that 
nice places where I really wanted to come have a dip but apparently these guys are reconstructing this place so this is where usually all these mainly especially kids who keep jumping from that point to the water and guys this is the Kirimalai temple it's a such a beautiful temple so if you ever come to Kirimalai of course have a visit to this and also have a visit to the pond I really wanted to go in but I'm running out of time at the moment so this is the Jaffna post office and it's right next to the fort yeah the fort is that way I got my fort stamp and it's official that I'm covering Jaffna but they took way too much to get that seal down man so that's Jaffna post office so apparently I've got four seals so the fourth is Jaffna so it's time for me to depart from Walampur okay so it's time to get on the bike and either go to Delft or maybe for lunch Guys, three years back, that is the bus that I took from Jaffna to Kurikadwan, 776. And I really love the ride, especially with those Tamil songs, because always I hear all these Baila songs in Kalapu back then when I used to go in the bus. But when I went in this, it was much better. guys it's uh, 4 p.m. now so it took me somewhere like about an hour to reach here so that's the time it takes for you to come from Jaffna town to Kurikar to Anjadi and this is the place where you have to wait till your ferry comes in and according to the information I think uh, the next ferry is at 4 30 p.m. so there's half an hour
guys so uh, I just got to the show and it's so crazy this is one of the most curious things that I have ever done in my life man I don't know anyways this is the uh, ferry terminal of Del Delphi Island so now I'm gonna go to my room I mean it's camping today though guys so it's 6 30 almost 6 30 and i just reached my homestay this is like heaven man this is literally heaven and look at these beauties hey this is where you have a bath yes there is a well <laughs> wow 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 and that's the washroom and this is how like see it's covered and this is how the adventurous washrooms be <laughs> I mean, I'm a down-to-earth person, man. I just need peace in mind, just happiness within me, and explore as much as I can, be with good people, be with people who really think positive, and who take, like, how do you say, little, little things as happiness, which keeps them happy throughout. Now, that's kind of like you know that's the kind of thing that i really need in my life man so another thing is guys uh this guy like he's a very nice person i'll, I'll introduce him to you he's a very nice person he was telling me look i don't know if you will feel comfortable over here and i told him are you crazy You've got the best spot in this island and you're asking me if I really want to go somewhere else. I'm having ideas of staying for two days over here now. <laughs> this is one of the best moments in my life, man. I'm so excited to stay like this. This is so cute. Cool.